Holy shit. Hi. Hey. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. You guys, can you imagine? Fucking Shannon right here as I live and breathe. <laughs> touching distance. Can you? Is I this touching distance? Yes! Hot. <laughs> Hot. Here we go, the trifecta. That's a threesome. Thank you so much for doing this. You look perfect. You look <laughs> stunning. I love your hair shorter. I love your hair longer. Thank you. <laughs> Rachel. Thank you so much. Oh, sorry. Calm down. But also when we did, we put out like a, a question. We were like, hey, if you guys have any questions for Shannon, please send them in. And they were so horny. Oh. It, it was unbelievably horny. We couldn't use any of the questions. No. I opened up my phone to check to do my job. Right? I'm scared. And my phone literally got water damage. Yeah. No. So you owe me a new iPhone 7. Okay. It's old. It's, <laughs> it's so old. It's old. I just want what's fair. <laughs> I don't want more. I don't want, I'm not asking for X or more. Just what's fair. Okay, so you did you see our, our thing for oh, yeah. holidays? I was watching. I, yeah. I loved it. Oh, thank okay. you. <laughs> <laughs> or like so raid so art opening yeah. set. I you so much. Well, I was having a hard time seeing, but I was like craning from the back to thank watch you. with you guys. Have Thanks. you ever had trouble bringing home a partner or having Thanksgiving issues? Have you ever brought like, anyone home to meet the fam? I've brought someone home every Thanksgiving. Excuse for me? <laughs> how, for how long? Wait, I'm sorry? a new person every year? No, 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 no. Wait, okay. how many years? Probably like nine. Probably nine, like nine yeah. gay Thanksgiving in a row? D yeah, uh-huh. Yes. Okay, wait, I do have thousands of questions yeah. that I'm forcing <laughs> through my veins. Do you bring dishes or do you show up and you're like, I'm home in Texas, bring me the turkey? Uh, That's kind of my energy. I definitely have had to bring dishes because every girlfriend I've ever had had a dietary restriction. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> and they do always, don't they? And they actually, they always, they always do. And my Texas family is like, um, we're not eating tofurkey. Back. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I will provide the tofurkey. No one eats it. That's the gayest shit I've ever heard. Um, dietary restrictions from a girlfriend, it does feel like, in my opinion, in my experience, yeah. it feels like they're just trying to be like, okay, we get it, you got a girl here. And then I'm like, she's vegan. And they're like, you fucking <laughs> get that shit back to LA. <laughs> No, my family's so nice about it, but they're just like, that's on you. Right. And I'm like, for sure. So I'm picturing you showing up having like full barbecue family turkey style and then one container <laughs> to-go box of tofu and you're like, here you go. It's, um, yeah, kind of. But also like making vegan mac and cheese that all my family is like, that's kind of disgusting. And yeah. And I'm like, just eat it. Eat it and be nice. Yes. To my girlfriend. And they do, but they, they really don't eat it. They just put it on their plate. <sighs> you know. It's that vibe. I'm fascinated that you haven't been single for nine, nine years. years. Single? For Not a holiday? Single. Haven't been single. For nine years, haven't been single. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my own. That's what I meant. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that's, that's me. Wow. Honestly, that's, that's incredible. <laughs> hey. <laughs> that's me. Always in a relationship. Kind of on a roll here. Kind of on a streak. <laughs> here I am. So then for Christmas, what is the worst gift you've ever gotten from a, from a significant other? Because you've always been with one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, am I hammering this home too much? No, 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 you're so right, so true, so true um, I feel like I've gotten good gifts usually I feel like lesbians are good gift givers in my Not personal. this one this Do one's not point the worst. at me Don't point at me. I think you're right, I think lesbians are great gift givers Because every girlfriend that I've ever had Has given me some of the best gifts I've ever received Really? Like very thoughtful Yeah like, I had a girlfriend for Christmas mm -hmm. give me, and I had a pocket watch phase. Dykes. Oh, Dykes. Wait, were you wearing a vest? I was wearing a Dykes. Stop, come on. You stop. know, 08, 09, 07. The vest, the fedora, the pocket watch. Please don't make me spell it out for you. <laughs> it's bad. And she, know, she knew I was in my, and I had a very cheap pocket watch because they're expensive. And she gave me a customized pocket watch engraved with my initials on the front. And then on the back, because I had a thing that I was like, I've, I've never been with anyone for five years before. And she engraved a song that said, in five years' time, you might just prove me wrong. That's really thoughtful. That's, is that the nicest gift you've ever received? And it, tell them what it, you got her that year. A coloring book. No. <laughs> Unholy. That's so bad. So yeah, I feel like it is hard, because gay people are so thoughtful and good at giving gifts, but right. some of us are terrible. Now, would you consider yourself a good gift giver? 
I would say I'm a good gift giver, but I'm also kind of like forgetful. So I've definitely missed anniversaries. I definitely, one New Year's Eve, I forgot to kiss at midnight. I like forgot that's like the thing that you're supposed to you do. Forgot? You forgot? Know? I, I literally, and I did not, yeah, I got in trouble for sure about that one. That's a tough one. But yeah, my, one. my biggest problem is just like forgetfulness. Not if I remember, the gift will be awesome. Awesome. Here's if, what you, <laughs> if I remember. Here's what you do. Yeah. Yes, put those two, two down. This is how I point I'm on stage. <laughs> okay. It's giving Taylor Swift. It is, well, <laughs> those are actually the middle Those ones. are the twos and threes. <laughs> the Try ones it. and twos are for, for Spirit Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. What was I? It's <laughs> great. <laughs> Was it a pocket watch? No, we, we went past it. Okay. Yeah, but I can't tell if that's a nice gift or a mean gift because she was kind of enabling you with the pocket watch. Oh. <laughs> you mean enabling the, the vest and the fedora? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. I feel like, unfortunately, I had a very strong, like, Mr. Peanut face. Yeah. <laughs> I was Can very I much like... You're still in it. There's, I know. You're still in it. It's not a face. I know. It's very hard to be fancy when you're curvy and mask. Come on. <laughs> Without looking like Mr. Mr. Peanut. <laughs> yeah. That is really funny. Yeah, she did enable that. I still have that watch. I think it's a very sweet gift. I think gift giving is a huge part of being a lesbian. But I also think hooking up with your partner at your parents' home is also a huge part <laughs> of being queer. So have you ever done that? Oh, yeah, for sure. Unfortunately. Yeah. Well, when you're a transplant also, then you're like bringing someone home for Thanksgiving. Right. So you're like, are we going to be celibate the whole time we are exactly. That's not how <laughs> baby Jesus wanted it. No. <laughs> That's not the reason for the season. Uh -uh. But what does Jesus have to do with Thanksgiving? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ray. You were thinking Christmas, I was huh? thinking Christmas, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you brought people home, and you have yeah. you ever gotten caught at home? <gasps> Don't. Sorry. I feel like I've had more, um, unfortunately, masturbation run-ins than the Stop. hookups, which is so, so uncomfortable. You know how hard it is to turn a vibrator off? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, do I! <laughs> no. No, tell us the whole story. Wait, I walk also us just through walk us through it. it, but also I love masturbation run-ins. <laughs> <laughs> like, from the law. Okay, yeah. what happened? I'm vibrating. Also, if you want to cast us as either of your parents, we'd be happy to act it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not a good feeling, you know? And also then you're like trying, it's so obviously uncomfortable when you're like, <laughs> right. <laughs> Hi, mom. Well, you're moving Oop. around like that. <laughs> Oop. <laughs> Wait, Minnesota. Oop. <laughs> Oop. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm imagining, unfortunately, the worst case scenario, which is you, f you fumbling, right? It's buzzing, it's buzzing, it's buzz light near, it's a bumblebee, right? It's it falling. lands on the floor. It's a hardwood floor. <laughs> <laughs> She's off. Bye! She's, <laughs> She's off down the hallway, down the stairs. She's going to see Grandma. Yeah, bouncing down and down. It wasn't that bad, but it was, it was pretty bad. It doesn't matter. It's traumatizing no matter what. 100%. It's very traumatizing, but it sounds like you've had multiple. <laughs> yeah, I think so you, you said, said. I think you, you said, said multiple. A few run-ins. <laughs> a few run-ins with the vibrator Shit. law. How did you not learn your lesson? I don't know. I think the lock on my door doesn't work at my parents' house. You gotta well, shove something house. under that door. You gotta get leverage so it can not Wait, open. Wait, I have. I'm also running the numbers logistically. Yes, please. Sorry. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay. Here's what I'm wondering. If you're a transplant. Yeah. And you don't live in Texas, where you're from. Yeah, but sure. you're masturbating with a vibrator. <laughs> Are you flying on Spirit Airlines with a vibrator? Oh, yeah. Hot. Yeah. That's Are incredible. We, Are we not? Are we not all doing that? I don't that? think I've flown. Have you ever flown with a diller? <laughs> no, I don't think... I mean, I must, I feel like I do a lot of road trips. Sorry, I'm so poor. So you're driving with the Diller. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I drive, but I don't know if I've gone through TSA with a Diller. It sounds thrilling. I think I'm too scared of getting pulled over by a TSA agent. I love when they pull me over. And, or it like starting to vibrate in the suitcase. Because they are hard. To, so you fly with them. Because you're like, right. Yeah. yeah that's how, how many they do you there. fly with? What? How many do you fly with? <laughs> I, I don't need that many, but yeah. Yeah. All right. That's well, because you never know. <laughs> Honestly, that's a lot better. If you're flying with it, it's better than like hiding them around the house. <laughs> the, yeah, for <laughs> sure. Under a floorboard for when you get back. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
Yeah. Papa's home. <laughs> I've missed you. <laughs> Hi. I don't know. I mean, IDK. Don't say Papa's home. Because <laughs> if they only get used but once a year, <laughs> they Maybe she sad. goes home more than once. We don't I don't know. know. <laughs> Sometimes I feel sad for my sex toys when they go used. They must be so lonely. <laughs> We have to get back on track. Sorry. <laughs> Shannon, I'm sorry. Sorry, I, Shannon. I started it. I okay, think. so you're cranking it at home, getting <laughs> caught. Got it. <laughs> Not cranking it. Sorry. It <laughs> took a turn. Sorry, I was paraphrasing, but I think that we all kind of got what you were getting at. <laughs> Rachel Marie, stop. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, you were tenderly. <laughs> no, okay. no, no, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, sorry. Okay, so what advice would you give to people bringing partners home for the first time? We're going to take a big, big <laughs> yeah. <hard> turn. <laughs> I thought you were going to ask how to bring dealers through yeah, TSA. I did too, and I was getting stressed no. out again. We can't keep doing Okay, this. right, sorry. I, I feel like my advice is just to be like as casual about it as possible. Like yeah. You're just like, we're not any different than any other person in the room, and then that makes things... It got so quiet in here. No. <laughs> It'll happen. Quiet enough to hear a Every vibrator just <laughs> pop yeah, off at any point. If you guys have one, turn it on. Feel free. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think just to try to make yourself like the least other feeling as possible, mm -hmm. if that makes you more comfortable, or if it makes you more comfortable to make everyone uncomfortable, you can also do that too. Yeah. That's not usually my vibe, but yeah. I like to just fly under the radar. But that. also, everyone in my family knows I'm a lesbian. I've been like posting about it for a long time. So there's no yeah. confusion that I will come home. And this is not and a friend. There's no confusion. There probably will be a girl with me. Hot. Considering my track record. Nine years in a row. Yeah, this I is like my first year that I won't bring a girl home for oh Thanksgiving. Oh my God. So are they gonna, what are they gonna say when they see you <laughs> just, <laughs> just <laughs> bringing in some yams? <laughs> well, I guess we will eat all of the meat and cheese that we possibly can. There we go. That's nice. No vegan and here. Gluten. Everything. We can Hell eat it yeah. all now. Scary. This is incredible. Your first year in nine. This is huge. Congrats. That fucking rocks. <laughs> I hope that vibrator is <laughs> um, uh, Wait, I was going to say something. I've lost it. But my girlfriend's going gluten-free, and I think it's, it, it's really tough. It's really tough. Um, yeah, great. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Shannon, we do have an Ask a Dyke for you. Okay. I'm and ready. I'm going to read it. This person sent this in for this specific show. Okay. Hey, Dykes. I'm a longtime listener, first-time asker. I've been with my girlfriend for nine months, and everything has been great. There's just one thing that keeps getting in our way. She's really close with her ex. And I know that lesbians sometimes are close with their exes, but my girlfriend and her ex are super close. Like they text all the time, they're in a band together, and the music is actually not bad. <laughs> what a weird detail to add in there. If you have to say it's actually not, not bad, bad it's probably bad. Um, it, they never said it was good. Do you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so I have to confess something before I get to my ask. I went through my girlfriend's phone last night. Ooh. <sighs> when she was in the shower. <sighs> and I read through some of her and her bandmates slash ex's convo to see if there was anything more going on. I found texts from the ex saying, you're my number one priority, even though you have a girlfriend. Ooh. And... If you and your girlfriend break up, I, you know I'm always here. <gasps> the worst part is my it's, girlfriend... It gets worse? It's getting worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's getting worse because the girlfriend entertained it and even flirted back. Here's my question. One, how do you bring this up? How do I bring this up? And two, is it okay to ask your partner to end a friendship because it makes you uncomfortable? And there is a third. Does text flirting count as cheating? Well, my number, I think that the second you're going through someone's phone, it's done, in my personal opinion. That's exactly what I said. Wow. I was like, no, the moment you're like, I better look, you, gotta, you should break up. Yeah. I in agree. my opinion. Yeah. yeah. So she literally said this verbatim when we were prepping this question. I was like, yeah. fuck this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of got heated. I was like, ah, uh -uh. okay. So how do you bring this up? How would you guys bring this up? <laughs> Well, have you ever looked through somebody's phone? That's what I was going to say. I've never done that. Yeah. And Has I anybody ever do done it. that to you? Yeah. 
And how did it make you feel? Not good. Yeah. Did they bring it up to you? Did Eddie, they confess to it after? It was like a situation where the phone was taken like in front of me and <gasps> then brought to a bathroom door locked. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Yeah. No. And then I went. The gall. I went to bed because I was like, "There's nothing on there, so have the best time in that bathroom." I have a question. Yeah. What is the most embarrassing thing they could find on your phone, not text related to somebody else? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Like really bad selfies, like <laughs> like a hundred in a row kind of vibe. Yes. <laughs> Where you're like, That's and I posted one of them, but there are a hundred <laughs> other ones. Yeah. 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 That yeah. wouldn't make me feel good. Yeah. But yeah, and that relationship ended after that too. Because wow. I said, no, no, no. Yeah, you can't do Something that. is wrong here. Deeper than that. So without a doubt. I'm yeah. strong in my stance on if you go through my phone, we're breaking up. We're done. Yeah, yeah. you got to have boundaries. Rachel, we're trying to teach Rachel I'm boundaries. I'm learning boundaries. That's so <laughs> Rachel so is not slowly. a lot. Yeah. Um, I looked through somebody's phone one time. My you college did. girlfriend, I looked through her phone. And? But in my defense, I was blacked out drunk okay <laughs> okay a great defense yeah. always. <laughs> always i was hammered drunk okay i looked through her phone and it was such a long time ago that it, that it had to slide up to have the you know yeah. what i'm talking about like a, like a sidekick so when you're actually looking when you're hammered drunk and looking through a phone like that it's actually super confusing <laughs> it's <laughs> impossible yeah because there, you, there's not like threat do you remember there weren't like chunks of text you'd yeah. have to like and then who said what <laughs> so you're like <laughs> really it takes so long and yeah. me hammered like whoa so i looked through it I saw that my girlfriend was texting a guy named Jeff, like, I love you, I miss you, I can't wait to hang out. So I'm kind of like hammered and being like, this is wild, right? I waited for her to wake up. It was Valentine's Day. She wakes, this is just bad. to pepper in some detail. She wakes up, okay. I'm holding her phone. I go, who the fuck's Jeff? <laughs> right, like, like Maury. You wait up the whole night. Yeah. Rings under your eyes. Yeah. Still kind of blackout drunk. Yes. <laughs> Who's Jeff? Who's Jeff? Right? Yeah. And she goes, that's not my phone, that's my roommate's phone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> I have actually a question for you. Yeah. What is the most embarrassing thing somebody could find on your phone? Truthfully? Yeah. How much I like Google people's heights. <laughs> That's pretty bad, yeah. Yeah. What about you? What's the worst thing or most embarrassing thing somebody could find on your phone? I think it would be Google, and it would be like, what is Juliana Margulies' net worth? <laughs> net worth? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be net worth. That's hot. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty embarrassed. That's very that. telling to kind of... Height, net worth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> selfies. Too many selfies, <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Okay, and then this is the last question. Does text flirting count as cheating? 100%. Yeah. I, I feel think, like we were all yeah. the front row we practically screamed 100%. it. 100%. Yeah, you guys were like not 100%. having it, which is a very sexual energy to me. <laughs> Text flirting is like also the worst because there's a full-blown record of it. It's like, you know, maybe if you were out at a bar and you had like a casual little like banter with someone, mm -hmm. that might not be like full-blown flirting. When you can read it and you can see back and forth and back and forth, and we all know what is flirting and not flirting via yeah. words. Like, I, that you I do can not. read? No, you don't? It always went over my head. <laughs> oh, really? Never mind that. Never mind. People, I would find out years later, they were like, I really liked you, and I flirted so hard. And I was like, I thought we were buddies. <laughs> and that's how this podcast started. <laughs> 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 yeah, bitch! Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, but truly and deeply. <laughs> um, I feel like you're right. There's something about texting that seems very intimate. It well, it's it? like so purposeful. Yeah. Every time you're sending another message, it's like, I thought about that. I wrote it out. I sent it. Yeah. You know? And I feel like lesbians were so good with the, with the written, written word. word. Yeah. Exactly. It's that letter writing. It's, le it's literally letter writing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we don't so have the quill sapphic. anymore, but we have those emojis. It's these. If, I, if you see a red heart from somebody, Done. so what are you? Yeah. White heart, it's over. White. Ooh. Wait, which one? I one's think the white most? is worse. White, white is worse, heart, because then you have to opinion. go over. You got to find yeah, that white heart. Yeah, you look for it. Yeah. Of course. It's done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you really got to mean it. Yeah. Wait. And, but the yellow heart is friendship. Yellow's neutral. Always. White, yeah. you guys think is truly demonic. You're like, that's, <laughs> okay, yeah. the worst of the worst. Yeah. You know what I do? Because I'm a slut. <laughs> <laughs> I do a, a heart, the one that's burning on fire. Oh. <laughs> that's the horny heart. And that's mine. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, if you catch that in your girlfriend's phone, it's over. Yeah, or it's, it's just me being good morning. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm such a good morning guy. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Shannon, that's been it for oh us my God, and you. Amazing. Thank you so much. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> Shannon has a podcast coming out. Please, before you go, tell us about your podcast. I have a podcast coming out in December. It's called X's and O's. I'll be talking about uh, queer relationships and sex. And Hot. it will be a more intimate look into my life that I kind of stopped sharing for a while. So oh my God. I'm back, baby. <laughs> yeah! Hell yeah! Everyone, make it up for Shannon Beverage! <laughs>